Streamlabs best bitrate for streaming. Having the best bitrate for streaming ensures your content looks great and keeps things smooth for your viewers. Now with regards to the best bitrate settings, it really depends on several factors. Number one, how fast is your internet? Another thing is your audience. Which country are your audience mostly from? So this really depends on these matters. But for now, let's try to assume that we are going to stream at 1080p 60fps. So first things first is the requirement. Let's try to go ahead and open fast.com. We are just going to test how fast our internet is. Alright, so my internet speed is 37 Mbps for the download, but the most important one is going to be the upload speed, so we're going to check that here as well. Alright, so there you go, 48 Mbps. Now, in this matter, we're going to go ahead and try to open Twitch. Alright, Twitch Broadcasting Guidelines, we're going to click this one here. So regardless of which platform you're going to be streaming from, Twitch is going to be very helpful. So basically, it's mostly the same. Now this is going to be our guideline. Again, I'm using NVIDIA and I have here NVIDIA NVENC. So we are going to be streaming again at 1080p 30fps. So let's try to check what is the speed requirements for streaming at 1080p 30fps. So it says here that required upload speeds are between 3.8 and 7.4, which we already have. So I think that is going to be very good. Let's close this one and then we're going to start resetting our resolution for this one here. Now let's try and open our Streamlabs. This one here, I'm just going to put it at the side. And then this one is going to be where we're going to base. Again, we, we are using NVIDIA and we're going to try to follow these here. So let's try to make it a bit bigger. Alright, so we're going to be following this one here, 1080p 30fps. Now how do we do that? We're just going to go ahead and click the settings here. And after that, we're going to click output. Again, we want to stream, so we're going to click this one here. If you don't see these settings here, you have to make sure that you have changed the output mode to advanced. Now we're going to start with the rate control. That's the first thing that we see here. So we are using CBR. Oh, before that, you have to make sure that you have changed the encoder, by the way. So software, this is going to be for the X264. And then we have here the NVIDIA NVENC H264. And then we have the new one also. So far, I have been using this old one here and I really haven't experienced experience any problem so I'm just going to continue using this one here and then we're going to continue with this part here as you can see CBR for the bitrate let's change this one to 4500 all right as you can see here and then we're going to scroll down and everything here is okay so we're going to go ahead and click video so for the video 1080p so this is our base canvas resolution so basically the base canvas resolution is going to be our monitor what is the monitor that you're using so in my case it's 1080p so i'm going to leave it at that and then for the output or scaled resolution this is going to be about your streaming so what quality are you going to stream in my case it's 1080p still so i'm going to leave it at that and then you have here fps type common fps type again we're going to stream at 30 fps so we're going to change this one here like that all right once you've changed that one you can just go ahead and click done here and there you go congratulations everybody because now you have the best bit rate for streamings in using streamlabs and by the way i would highly suggest to upgrade to streamlabs ultra to level up your streaming quality and experience you can save the ten dollars of discount right away after clicking on the link in the description box and the comment section below and as always please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave this video a like if this helps you out